I've said it once, and I'll say it again. I shouldn't be able to do this. This shouldn't be held up by one screw. But whoever built this fence has no idea how fences work. You wouldn't think it's that complicated. And it really isn't that complicated. But this piece of wood right here did nothing. Did not help the fence at all. It just added weight to drag it down. Why are there two boards here? It's just extra weight hey, pulling the fence. Like this. shouldn't happen that I take down some random patch of wood and the whole fence falls down. and piles of quartz. Some pretty nice white stuff and some stuff that's almost clear um, all over the property. I'm consolidating them into one big pile <laughs> but this is all gonna get buried when I level the dirt so if I want them I need to save them before I bury them. Am I ripping all of the roots out doing this? I 
feel like the answer is yes, because the soil is super hard. Someone tells me he's not gonna live. <laughs> That's not a lot of roots. Anybody have this on their 2023 bingo? Digging out a cactus from a toilet? Also an acceptable answer is picking quartz out of a toilet. I think that's gonna be pretty much all that I can do for this guy. Whopper in there. Oh, this is heavy and pokey. Oh, God. Oh, God. Holy shit, that's heavy. crap tell me why I didn't plant it over there <laughs> oh holy crap can't tip you over yet good all right is it light enough to carry to do so I feel like either I do it all by hand or I do pretty much none of it by hand and just get a tractor or run a tractor or run a guy with a tractor I don't know where do I want a rock pile <laughs> strong the wind has been is that it's literally pulling these boards like out of the trailer. It's so warm. That's amazing. I 
know it's going to get unwarm as soon as this weather picks up. We're going to have wind today. Shocking. Also, when the fuck did I lose? I lost a thingy. And I don't know how because these all have locking knots on them. when you stack a bunch of sand see you can see there's a big pile of sand against the fence and then can you see all the light coming through and all of the panels that are pushed out I don't know what kind of a bullet casing this is. I texted my dad a picture of it. But they're shooting the fence. The fence has a whole bunch of holes in it. Oh, he says it's a pellet gun. So I've done just a little bit of work off camera. Um, as you can see, the trailer that I was loading fence into is now empty and the fences are all stacked. And then over here, I will explain to you what that is in a second. And then over here, you can see I built a little like workbench area. 
um, for some plants. And then I've been, put my um, firewood that I've been chopping out of the old ruined fence panels and two by fours and everything. All the wood that I don't deem good enough to put into the pile for later is, is being put down here for me to burn in my wood burning stove. So up here I have, um, this is my flower pot from last year, a flower is coming back or I think actually it might be a couple of different flowers all in one clump and I put some of last year's Cosmo seed down I don't know if it'll germinate um, but I'm keeping it wet by putting this cardboard over it so the soil doesn't evaporate and we'll see if any of those seeds were viable because I just plucked them off of the Cosmo when the wind um, blew them down and then the the Rabbits were starting to eat them, so just, I don't know if the seeds are fully developed at that point, but um, I pulled them, and we'll see. Uh, if not, I have other wildflower seeds, and I will have a wildflower pot again. I can't wait until the ground is all level and everything, and I can put seeds in the ground. But for now, I have things in pots. These two pots are asparagus. Um, asparagus needs to be in the ground, basically, um, for, like, one year, this will be okay in the pot, because when you buy asparagus roots, they're really teeny tiny, um, and for them to, like, produce anything for you to eat, it takes a couple of years anyways, so I figured I would start them in the pot now for them to start to get big, and then I can put them in the ground next year, um, or this fall, whenever I've got the ground ready. Um, but there's one big root here and two little roots in this pot. My shovel and a big chunk of quartzite. This edge is sh so sharp. You could literally cut someone with it. Um, this is ginger, actually. And this is going to be the big experiment. Ginger is supposedly easy to grow, but I think I probably put it in uh, too early because we are supposed to freeze this week and it's a tropical plant. So... Who knows if this is going to do anything. Um, everybody else, I am told, will be fine. This is garlic. Um, there's, I think, six bulbs in here. So hopefully I'll have a lot of garlic. I think they'll do okay. Garlic's pretty easy. And then a seashell that I found on my property. There's a bunch of them. I think they came from the dollar store. I don't think that I actually had seashells around here <laughs> at, at any point in history. But yeah, I just built the workbench out of scrap materials. Old fence posts, old fence panels, old 2 by 4s holding the fence panels up. It was a fun little project that I whipped out. Um, and, and I didn't film it because I was in such a hurry to get the asparagus. The asparagus were like dying. <laughs> because uh, I bought them a long time ago, and then I got sick and everything, so it was, I was in a hurry to whip these out, um, because I didn't want to plant them and have them sprout, and have the rabbit eat them, because I'm not sure if I can find a spot here, but there is rabbit poop on the ground, just outside the patio. All right, so then the other project here is a potato box. So I've got, I think, 10 or 12 halves of a potato in here, um, it's probably oversized for that many potatoes anyways, but hopefully that means that I'll just grow a lot of potatoes and it'll fill it up. Um, so basically the way that these boxes work is like the potatoes are in here and once they start to grow and you got leaves and stuff, then you bury them again. And so that's why these stakes are tall is that like I can just add another panel and then bury it again when it gets to that depth. Um, I mean, I'm not going to end up having a bin that tall probably, but... You never know. Um, and it was just something I whipped together in a hurry. Again, the potatoes were starting to go soft on me because I had them sitting around way too long. So yeah, this um, is all of the soil that I have on this property. All of my leaf compost, all of my wood chips. <clears throat> I bought two bags of steer manure. One and a half of them is in here and the other half is in the pots you just saw. So, fingers crossed that these do well, and, um, yeah, I'm gonna have to figure out where to get dirt from when it comes time to bury this again. Alrighty, and then the last project that I did off of camera was restack all of these boards. Oh, I wish I had a before. It was so 
jambled like when I first started stacking boards here I really wasn't like thinking about the future and how many of these boards I would have so like this pile here about from here over was like this short it was like as short as that and it had a bunch of two by fours and random wood on it so I had to get that all off and sorted before I could stack more fence panels up um and then a lot of the fence panels I decided to keep are pretty warped and so they were making the um stack want to fall over so I put these little boards screwed into the boards that the the fences are laying on um to keep them off the ground so that it can't fall over I'm gonna do the same thing over here on this side um and as you can see I'm I just have a few more panels to put in here before I have everything nice and flat and level the other thing I did is like you can see on these ones I only have two panels or two boards on the ground I um sledgehammered a third one in here because now that they're stacked so tall I didn't want them to like warp downwards um and then be unusable when I went to go and use them again the whole reason I did this is because every time the wind would come, which we're supposed to have 50 mile an hour winds today, <laughs> so this will be a good example of it working, hopefully. Um, every time the wind would come, these panels are so light um, that the wind would catch them and I'd have to restack everything again. As you can see, I put these big 4x4 four four posts on top and theoretically that will hold everything down so that um, the wind doesn't make these all fly away. I'm not sure how much taller I'm going to stack this, but basically the goal when I unloaded the trailer was just to get it level so that this would work. Because um, like I said, I, I did that yesterday and I knew that the wind was going to be really bad today. So basically, just to, to walk you through my piles here, um, this pallet, I call them pallets. They're not really pallets. They're just boards on the ground, but I call them pallets. This pallet is two by fours. Um, and these I think are going to go on another pallet. So this can be only two by fours. Cause I think I have that many two by fours out here that I just haven't stacked. And then obviously a whole pallet of this, um, fence panels, and then another pallet of my four by four posts. And then these are like round posts, which I have a lot of those. And then, um, I have a stack of flat plywood and, and, um, particle board and stuff that I found most of that has gone in the garbage because it's in really bad shape because particle board obviously isn't meant to be out in the weather unpainted but some of the pieces are in good shape and I've kept them over here and that is on top of my bathroom door which is already just garbage so I figured I would just use that as my method of keeping things off the ground. The pile of corrugated metal has been out here for a long time. You've probably noticed it. And then this plexiglass panel, <laughs> uh, it was on top of this. It flew away and I have never picked it up. And I might as well show you all the piles. Um, I have a metal fence panel pile, T-post pile, random metal and cables and wires and stuff panel pile. And then all of my bricks and pavers and stuff that I have found around a property, these little concrete posts that are everywhere, pile of old broken tiles and edging, a big, big, big pile of rocks that should actually be significantly bigger and I probably should have stacked it all the way back here because it's gonna be a really big pile. Um, and then I have a pile of concrete because at some point I might take a load of concrete in to be recycled. Um, and then a pile of quartz a pile of wood to be chipped and the compost bin and my neighbor and then that's the house obviously uh the last thing to show you guys is this pile of wood right here so when i first started stacking the wood basically last year i was not thinking about burning my wood stove it wasn't restored yet i was kind of scared to restore it but now it's all functioning and i need wood to burn and like I could buy wood but it's really expensive out here and so yeah this wood is perfectly good to burn these little cedar um, fence panels burn like instantly so they're not great but luckily I have a lot of them and then the two by fours burn really well so basically anything that isn't um, pressure treated like the four by four posts or particle board or plywood that you know has glue in it and everything those are not good to burn the creosote bushes aren't good to burn either um but yeah basically i just have these piles laying around i used to have one of these piles over here and i processed it all 
Um, now that pile is just particle board to be taken to the dump, which should be coming up soon. Um, that's why the trailer is empty, is so that I can take stuff to the dump. Um, but yeah, there's piles of boards all around. Most of these are good and need to go put in the stack. But um, over where I was working yesterday, I have a big pile because that fence line on the other side of the house is just in the worst condition of all of the fence lines on the property. So there's a lot of firewood coming out of there in addition to this pile. So I have a lot of chopping to do and I'll stack it up underneath the workbench like I did before. And I don't want to get too ahead of myself because we are in February. Um, I don't know how much longer we're going to have winter weather that I need the wood stove for. And that bench is going to get a lot of water, um, you know, because I'm going to be watering the pots. So the wood's going to get wet underneath it. So I don't want to put too much wood under there and then it have to sit there all year round getting watered all summer. So um, basically if this pile and the other piles just need to get stacked up for next year uh, somewhere in, you know, whole pieces or, or chopped up, then I will just figure out where to put another pile. <laughs> Um, so yeah, that's kind of the plan and that's what's been happening and I did all that off camera because I was in a hurry in a hurry to get the um, Trailer unloaded before the wind hit and I can feel the wind starting to kick up already. So I'm gonna go back inside And edit the video that you're gonna see this clip in <laughs>